Good evening. Thank you to my distinguished alumnus, Arthur Luxemburg, who has given me an introduction longer than my remarks. <laughs> And it took all the content. So as Henry VIII said to his wives, I won't keep you long. <laughs> I come here this evening. It's a good one, right? It works. I come here this evening on behalf of Yeshiva University, the largest institution of Jewish higher learning in the world, which aspires to be the fountainhead for the magnificent work that you do, to celebrate who you are and what you have done. I come here to celebrate the extraordinary work of Ivan and Lisa Kaffer, role models of Jewish leadership and philanthropy, and Dr. Danny Vitek, an extraordinary educational leader, and I come to celebrate you. Earlier today, over 4,000 people gathered in Izod Center to mark Yeshiva University's 80th commencement. I looked out at the future of the Jewish people. The commencement speaker and honorary degree recipient, my friend John Sexton, the president of NYU, asked me if I understood the power of my graduates. I told him that he saw the strength and future of America and of the Jewish people. I come to thank you this evening for 37 wonderful Yeshiva University current undergraduates, including two of your valedictorians, who left North Shore fully equipped to build a life and currently study with my faculty at Yeshiva University. But I also come to celebrate the message of hope and community, of quality and Jewish commitment that is the hallmark of North Shore. I joined with you in celebrating the high school's 10th anniversary, and I so enjoyed speaking at its first graduation exercises. I had the pleasure a few weeks ago of spending lunch with Arthur and with Lisa and I. It was a wonderful opportunity to know new friends. So now when I think of Lisa and Ivan Kaufman, I think of the story told of Roy Disney. When Disney World was first built, Roy Disney was giving a tour to a group of visiting executives. At a certain point in the tour, one of the executives turned to Roy Disney and said, you know, it's really a pity that your brother Walt never lived to see this. Roy Disney turned to him and said, you're wrong. He did see it. That's why it's here. Ivan and Lisa saw North Shore High School. That's why it's here. They saw the need to have a great high school that would define and grow your community. They saw that their children and yours deserved a quality education in a distinctive environment that would prepare them for success in the American Jewish community and in the world. They saw a need to strengthen America's ties to the United Israel, to the State of Israel. And so, in partnership with a gifted educator named Danny Vito, they built it. That's why it's here. Lovingly, painstakingly, together with your community. They built a magnificent facility and filled it with quality. They not only served as the philanthropic engine for this endeavor, Ivan and Lisa sweated every detail and filled it from its beginning through tomorrow with their ineffable spirit. They could have done anything with their resources and with the most precious of their resources, their time. But they invested in their children, and they invested in your children. They invested in this very special community. It will never be the same. They connect the Jewish past with an even prouder Jewish future. And they show the way for all of us. They did see it. That's why it's here. So celebrate and commit. I look forward to watching with pleasure as you continue to walk together with them in building the future that our children need, are worthy of, and that all of Israel needs. Mazel